Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. We want to thank you for the opportunity that you have given me to stand before these people. Dear Father, thank you because you knew who was coming today and you had something for each and every one of them. I lay down every fear and every insecurity. I pray for confidence as I speak and that you may use me as a vessel of honor, that you may speak, dear Father my God, through me, dear Father my God, for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. You may have your seats. Um, my name is Pinky Kansara, a daughter in the house. Um, I don't know where to start, but to end up with level. So my family is in the house. I'd like them to stand and just wave. My family. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. So, I am a student. I am a CEO. Bless the Lord. <laughs> and I'm an alumni of Cornerstone Academy. So, this is the product that comes from there. Because that's the foundation. That is where we are built. Moto yetu ilikuwa knowledge founded on Christ. So, it is still the same. Remember, it, is, it has not changed. That is where we were nurtured and we were brought up in the ways of God. Ata kama tunasoma, tunachapo inside, inside bado tunafunzo mambo ya mungu. We bless the Lord. Um, what was I to say? <laughs> anyway, I'll just go straight to the word. And if you're writing, our topic is going to be being a servant in the house of the Lord. Being a servant in the house of the Lord. And we'll read from Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. Matthew 25, verse 14 to 30. And I read, For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another he gave two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made other five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his, and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of these servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered me to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful of a few things. I will make you a ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received Two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful of a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look there, you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming I would have received back with my own interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For, for to everyone who has more will be given, and he will have abundance from him who does not have even what he has will be taken away. And cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And we'll also read from Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. 
Colossians 3 verse 23 to 24. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of your inheritance, of the inher inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. So, being a servant in the house of the Lord, just a brief story of when I was growing up. I have known my mom as a servant ever since I knew her. Because I've seen her serve God at her lowest point, at her highest point, at her strongest point, and at her weak, weakest point. And as we were growing up, she used to push us to also serve God. Niwale wa me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So every Sunday, hakuna kuachwa nyuma. If she's serving in the worship team, you'll find us all there. If she's serving in the Sunday school, you'll find us all there. So I was, as I was growing, I started serving God at a very young age. When I was in class six, I was in the VBS serving as a crew leader, and I'm so young. So nabidi kupewa watoto wadogo, because I'm in class six. When I'm in class eight, I have started teaching in Sunday school. I have already joined the worship team. Kwanza Sunday, unabidi ubomoe lines, ndo watu wa sikuwane hapo juu, anashindwa, uyu ukani yako class. So every Sunday, I used to make sure I have undone my hair. And being pushed in the same way, it started coming from the heart. Now you want to serve God more. As you know him personally, you desire to serve him more and more and more. Ile enye sasa, hata ukisikia ujisikiu, unajipeleka tu, because he is a rewarder. Praise the name of the Lord. And my mom kept telling me, this altar is going to fight your battles. As you serve God, he is going to fight so many battles. And as I stand here, I can testify that so many battles have been won because of serving the Lord. So as I was thinking about this, I was talking to a friend of mine and I was telling her, when I get children, trust me, I will push them. Lazima watasav mungu. Because if it's not for the pushing, I don't know where I would have been. So if you're a parent and in the, are you in the house, start pushing them. So mwana huya na dance hapa na akona miakatano, and she's raising, she doesn't even know what she's doing, but she's serving God in a way that you wouldn't think. Well, make up, or maybe you're thinking she's not doing anything. Huya na cheza tu apata tolewe. She's serving God. Praise the name of the Lord. So being a servant in the house of the Lord, who is a servant? According to the dictionary, a servant is a person who performs duties for others, especially a person employed in the house on a domestic duty or as a personal attendant. According to the past Jewish old days, a servant refers to someone who performs duties for others, often with humility and obedience, this includes bond servants and slave, slaves, household workers, and devoted followers of God. A servant in the house of God typically refers to a person dedicated to serving within a religious context, often within a church or a place of worship. These individuals commit themselves to support spiritual needs, maintaining the church operation, and promoting the gospel. So that is the meaning of a servant. Turn to your neighbor and ask them, are you a servant? Are you a servant? By the time we are coming out of here, I want us all to become servants in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So we can see in the book of Matthew that this master calls the servants and he's giving out different talents to them. One received five, another one received two, and another one received one. Praise the name of the Lord. So we should, why should we serve God? Why should we serve God? As you can see, he's the one who called them. So the Lord has called you. The Lord has called you and he has entrusted you with these abilities, with these talents, with these passions. Lakini you don't want to serve in the Sunday school. Praise the name of the Lord. He has called us and he has entrusted us with so much. And the responsibility has been given by God. This is the master who called them and gave them the responsibility. So the Lord has given you a responsibility. What are you doing with the responsibility that he has given you? Praise the name of the Lord. He has called us and he has entrusted us with his own property, 
Yani ametupe, alitueka hapa duniani, akatupe, akatuambia, this is what I've given you. Use it for the advancement and the enhancement of my kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. So he expects you to take what he has given you and use it for his kingdom. So we are serving God, one, because he's the one who has called us and entrusted us. Sawa, sawa. And then also, serving God is giving to God. He has created us. And he was an example of giving. Because in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave. Praise the name of the Lord. So God gave to us. And we ourselves don't want to give back to him. But you can stand up and say, I love God so much. I love you, Lord. But you don't want to give back to him. We are serving God because we love him. Not because we are going to get a, a salary at the end of the month. By the way, worship team, hakuna mtu anatulipanga. Na Sunday school, hakuna mshara, tunapatanga at the end of the month. We are serving him because we love him. Because he has called us and he has entrusted us and he has given us the best, literally. He offered his son to come and die for us. And you, you don't want to give him your, his, your time. You can't give him your finances. And he gave you his son. Praise the name of the Lord. So our maker expects us to serve him. The same way you would walk and go into a supermarket and buy a microwave. Uchukwe uilete nyumbani. Ukienda kueka chakula uwashe, high warm food. Suta kasirika sana. And you will go back and return it. No one be there. Ni rudisheni pesa yangu. Ni rudisheni pesa yangu sahi. But Mungu ameku create for you to serve Him. But then you want to be like that microwave that is not functional. Imagine tunge kwa tuna rudishwa. Rudisha uyu back to the maker because he's not doing his work. She's not serving the purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. So we should serve God because he has called us and trusted us with so much and he, we also love him and that is why we serve God. Sawa, sawa. If we are working together, we are now talking about how we can serve God. How we can serve God. There are so many ways to serve God. There are so many way, ways to serve God. Are there teachers in the house? Are there teachers in the house? Praise the name of the Lord. Those are people who are serving God. Because they have been given these children from when they don't even know how to say some words to when they are grown-ups and they are talking and they are the ones who nurture the children from a young age to us now. Praise the name of the Lord. So... Where and how we should serve God is a very tricky place to be because most of the times, trust me, unakwanga tuki jambia, hi mwaka ni meandika hapo kwa resolutions. I want to do something so great for God. This year, I want, to be, I want to be something in the kingdom. I want to do something so big for God. And we end up missing the entire point. Because ukikuja church, umekuja na moto, I want to be, I want to do something good for God. Unambiwa, Ashering to kona space, akikuna, akuna mtoks, mama kwa ile mlango, and you're like, no, I want to do something great for God. I want to do something great. If I'm not preaching, then me mistaki. Preaching is the only thing great for God, and that is the mentality some of us have. Niko kwa worship team unambua, kwa worship team, um, venye tumeona, kidogo ni kama, wewe utasmama saidi ya intercessory. Hautaki, unasema, kama sipewi microphone, sikuji, and that is what we think is something great for God. But that is not it. God has given us different talents. We can see the servant calling, the master calling the servants, and he's saying, Shika he, you have been given five. Shika he, you have been given two. You have been given one. And giving out this, in a sema, he gave them according to their abilities. So we were not given the same Maybe in school, tunakwanga tumevalishwa uniform, tunatoshana, unaona. I see what any same. But in the real sense, we have been given different abilities. Praise the name of the Lord. And because you've been given different abilities, lakini unaona Pastor Brian, anapreachingi vizuri, na mimi nataka kukua kama Pastor Brian, 
unaenda kupursue your calling and then you get so frustrated because that is not where God has called you. Praise the name of the Lord. So ask God, seek God. Seek God that he may show you where he has called you. Sawa sawa. So that you don't go umejoin worship team ukidhani utakuwa unaweko hapo mbele kuimba ama kwa dancers and then you know you don't get what you want and you get so disappointed and so hurt but God has called you to a better and a different place. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So um, do not be caught up in titles and do not serve God so that you can get a recognition. Ama sometimes no one will even recognize. Utasimama uimbisho praise. I'll use the worship team because I serve there. Praise the name of the Lord. Utasimama uimbisho worship. Watu walale chini wa anguke wa ombe. And the Holy Spirit is in their place. But no one will come and tell you, Pinky, you did a good job. You're such a mighty person. You are such a mighty present worshiper. You did a good job. The way you led us on Sunday. Eh, the way you preached to us. Venye ulikuwa unaasha ukitembea hapo mbele. Jameni atujayona mtu kama wewe. No one will come and tell you that. But the rewarder who is seated in heaven is seeing and he knows. And when the time comes, he is going to reward you because he rewards those who diligently seek him. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So, at times, tunasav mungu, na tukawapa, and you are now competing with one another, you are like, ay, nani ya naimba poa? Like, my sister sings better than me, that one I know. So, I'm competing with her, nataka ata mimi ni poe ni imbishe, but that is not where God has called me. When you are seeing it as a competition, he is seeing it as a way to use her, for the growth and the development of his kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So wherever ukiona kama ni competition, God is seeing it as a way to use her for the growth of the kingdom. And it is not about how many talents you are given. When you are serving God, it is not about the five, the two, and the one. It is not about it. It is about how you use what you have been given. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the one who was given five, Aliambiwa, well done, good and faithful servant. And the one who was given two, hakuambiwa, good and faithful servant. Ati sasa walitoa, well done, juya, alikuwa na kidogo. No, they were both told, well done, good and faithful servant. Praise the name of the Lord. So, usiangalie mimi, ay, ni kama, siye zangi sana, sasa hata nitaacha kusav. Ama ukienda, unambiwa, na weo unavuta wimbo, unasema mimi hapa ata stai rudi. I went in a bit, Eh? So it is not about how many. It is about ensuring that the talents that are the talents you were given are used for the advancement of the kingdom. Because God is so in intentional about each and every one of us. And seated in heaven, He looks at you and He says, I know you have a passion for this. He doesn't give out at you shika five, five, kila mtu akwe same. Five, 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 no. He looks at your ability. He knows where he has called you. And that's how he gives you the abilities he gives. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you are serving him, ensure you trust him because, and seek him because he's the one who is going to show you where he has called you and what you need to do in the kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. So he knows your heart. And he knows, unajikutanga, you have that passion inside of you. And maybe you think, ayo, misi ezani. Because that is what God has put in you. Iyo kakitu unasikianga hapo. Unaona hapa juu, aki kuna venye hii carpet, kuna venye joshua vizuri. Ona venye maji na mwagi. <laughs> Unasikia ime kusumbua. Probably that is where God has called you. Unaona venye watoto huku nje saa Sunday school, wana tembea tembea. Unasema apana, I purpose to go out after the service and make sure every child is in the class na wanafunzwa. Sawa, sawa. So every part in the body of Christ is important. There are people we don't even know exist, like the group of intercessory. Labda waambio wasmame ndo tutajua wako. But they are very important in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So every body part, we can take the body itself. The fingers, for every part to work, 
for the entire body to work, every part of the body needs to be there. Sawa, sawa. So let me give you a short story of how I almost lost one of my body parts. <laughs> <laughs> so you see these hikes, zinakonga zimepostiwa on Instagram, unona watu siju wameenda wapi, hiking, wana tutengenezea ma videos. Baka unasema, eh, mimi lazima niende. So I joined one group, nikatafuta beginner friendly hike. Beginner friendly. Nikaona umesema, this is nine kilometers, and it is very beginner friendly, and I'm like, ah, this one I'm going. And it also had the scenery of a waterfall. So, tumechukwana, tumeenda hike with my sister and my friends. Getting to the place, I'm like, ah, kumbe tunatembea tu kwa barabara hivi. And we started walking. They told us it's nine kilometers. Kwenda na kurudi. Tukatembea. And now we got to a place where we have to go down to the waterfall. And let me tell you what I saw. What I saw, I have never seen before. And then I'm asking, Tunaenda chini how long? And I'm 40 minutes. Niko like, Mulisema ni 9 kilometers kuenda na kurudi. How comes you are going down 40 minutes? Na ilikuwa adventure. Kuingine unakalia mti, unaslide, unaruka, unaswing, na kamba, kama Tarzan. It was crazy. And let me tell you, Uko uko unatetemeka migu because you can just see yourself falling. Na ukianguka, wenye wako nyumako, wako like unatudile, toka, toka. And as we went down and came back up, the next day, nikienda home, I didn't have one of my toenail, my big toenail. And the next month, I also lost my other toenail because I think of the pressure, nikuwa nimeva sneakers. And let me tell you, it used to disturb me. I look at my legs, and I'm musiangale sana ziko sai. I look at my legs and I'm like, oh God, what happened? And it disturbed me so much. Na mtuange ni ambia siuvae sneakers, yoni kitu kidogo, but it disturbed me so much. The same way in the kingdom of God, iwe nye unafikiria ni kidogo kabisa, it has a great impact in the advancement of the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. E masai naenda araka. Aya, we go to Apo kwa serving God, please write this. If the purpose of God is not represented in your growth, then your growth is a waste. If the purpose of God is not represented in your growth, then your growth is a waste. And if the purpose of God is not enhanced with your resources, then they are useless. Because God has given you resources. We've been talking about giving, giving, giving. Lakini wewe unona, ayu tutashinanga tukitoa. Lazima nitoe. Lazima nitoe. Then if you, you, you are not using your resources for the kingdom of God, then they are useless. Praise the name of the Lord. So serve God with everything you have and allow him to change your thinking so that you may live differently and you will understand what God wants for you. Because our highest joy and fulfillment is in serving God. If you want to live a fulfilled life, serve God. Praise the name of the Lord. And when we are serving, there's this thing called emotional serving. And you're feeling like, Aki, Mimi, I'm going through so much. Pastor, I'm going through so much. I need a break. There's nothing like a break in the kingdom of God. Wewe utachukua break na mungu alikuwa meamua kukuja kukubariki, akuta ulienda break. Praise the name of the Lord. As we were celebrating our mom, Pastor Millicent, someone was sharing and they were saying, since 204, they knew her in 204, and wakikuja church, she was just a member in the worship team. Now, walikuwa anaenda on break, wanarudi after some years, wanakuta aya amefanywa leader wa praise and worship team. Wanaenda on break, wanarudi wanapata amefanywa pastor. Wanaenda on break, wanarudi wanapata she's being elevated from one step to another because of consistency. So we waenda break, utarudi upate, tumeenda level ingine, hauko hapo, hata ufit in anymore. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you're serving God, do it consistently. Don't stop. Even at your lowest, that is when you should be seeking God the most. Praise the name of the Lord. Even at your weakest point, at the darkest tower, ukisikia umepigwa heartbreak, kuja usav God. He's the one who restores us and fix us. Praise the name of the Lord. So as we almost wind up, the benefits of serving our God, I'm going to go through this very quickly. Um, the first one is answers our prayers. 
answers our prayers. So as we serve God, he makes our prayers his priority. In it, a priority for priority. Sama priority for priority. So, kama unapea mungu priority, he is going to give you priority. And that's in the book of John chapter 15 verse 16. John 15 verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. And so whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Mnaskia hizo conditions. And in John chapter 16 verse 24, until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Praise the name of the Lord. The other point is turn, turns our shame to glory. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 3. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be, on, shall be the legacy of fools. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3. Those who are wise shall shine like brightness in the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like, uh, like the stars forever and ever. So when you're serving God, he's going to turn our shame to glory. Hakuna venye uta serve mungu na unaibika. He does not put us to shame if you're serving him. Praise the name of the Lord. The third point is service is a weapon of exemption. Service is a weapon of exemption. And in the book of Isaiah chapter 38 and verse 1, this is a story of Hezekiah. And in this story, Hezekiah, Isaiah alikuwa metumwa kwa Hezekiah, akuja muambie, anza kujipanga kuz masayake imeisha, and he's going to die. Praise the name of the Lord. But Hezekiah, I won't read it. That's how I'm going to read it because it's a long scripture. And Hezekiah pleaded with God and he asked God to remember how he has been faithful and diligent. And imagine the Lord added him ears. So it exempts you from death. Praise the name of the Lord. Because of serving God, in, the, in verse 8 in Asema, Behold, I will bring the shadow on the sandal which has gone down, which has gone down with the sun on the sandal of Ahaz, ten degrees backwards, so that the sun, so the sun returned ten degrees on the dial by which it had gone down. Yani mungu alibidi kuskuma sun ten degrees backwards. Doongeze Hezekiah miaka because he was a servant and he was diligent in serving God. Praise the name of the Lord. Imagine ukifika siku yako ya mwisho ama ukikuwa na shida fulani you just talk to God and tell him God just remember how I have served you all my life I have lived for you and God is going to exempt you from the trouble he's going to exempt you from what is coming to finish you praise the name of the Lord Amen. and the last point is God promotes us or elevates us the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 21 25 verse 21, Matthew. They said to him, Matthew 25, 21. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful of a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. So you know you're serving God in the right way and in the right calling if he begins to give you more and more and more because there's no way you will serve God. Now, Unakosa, praise the name of the Lord. There's no way you will serve God and you're going down. He will elevate you. He will promote you. Unona when you alikuwa me ongeza talents zao, the, the master was so happy. And I want to be a well done, good and faithful servant. And that is what all of us want to hear from God at the end of time. Well done, good and faithful servant. Kuja tupige shere pamoja. Praise the name of the Lord. Siku wambiwa kama uyo cast him out into the outer darkness. Praise the name of the Lord. The servant who had one talent had the time to go dig up achungulia aone hakuna mtu ameniona asiibe hii talent akaifunika na aka make sure akarudi akachimbua akachukua na akapelekea master so if he had all the time to do that 
It means he has time. He just, has, he just didn't have time for the master. So wewe umeamua, kenye mungu wamekupe, utaichukua, uikalie, uichimbue, uifunikage, unaenda, unachungulia kai iko sawa, iko hapo. And you keep telling us, I don't have time. It's time for God that you don't have. Praise the name of the Lord. So, make time for God. Acha niwambie, ukikuwa na excuses, anakuanga na solution ya excuses zote. Utasema sina time, aki job niko busy, alafu unafikia mnambiwa, eh, kwanzea leo mnatoka five. Sunday, tumekupe off. Na we unatuambia hauna time. So, if you trust God and you're intentional about it, he is going to do it for you. Sawa, sawa. So most of us want to detach from our calling as I wind up because we don't want to take up the responsibility of living holy lives, of living Christ-like lives. We don't want to take up the re responsibility of being patient and being pruned. Na mungu anaangalia huyu anatembea in righteousness. That is what makes us to shy away or run away from our callings. Because right now in the times we're living, yeah, the pressure increases. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. The pressure in a crease. So you don't want to do it because you have the fear of missing out. You have the fear of what will people say about me? What will people talk, talk about me? What will people do? Watu wanaenda na mina baki nyuma. And that is what makes us to fear and shy away from serving God. So stop giving excuses because God has every solution. Ukiamua kutembea na yeye, he is going to hold your hand. And he is going to give you the self-control. Praise the name of the Lord. He is going to surround you with people who are going to hold you and work with you in the kingdom. Because most of us, as young people, we've been told there's no reward in serving God. Most of us as young people, we've been told, si lazima, bora unasoma Bible, na unaomba occasionally, bora unaendanga church, uko tu sawa, but trust me, God is a rewarder. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So are you seeking God? Are you seeking God in this time so that he may reward you, so that when he's coming back again, he's going to tell you, well done, good and faithful servant. Praise the name of the Lord. And as I wind up, I'd like us to be on our feet. And just take this moment to reflect on your life. Just reflect. There are some people who have been hurt so badly as they were serving God. There are some people who have been hurt because of some things that happened when you were serving God. Now, Kasema, I will never serve God again. There are some people who have been in places where they don't even know how we're going to serve God. And I'd like to invite the ministry team so that if you're dealing with such issues, if you're feeling like mimi aki kwenye niko nilisema siyezi serve mungu, if you're feeling like you're too low, if you're feeling like you're too low to serve God, if you're feeling like it's so hard, just come and connect with one person. Just come and connect. Come and let it all out. Come and fix the broken pieces. Come and ask God to show you where you need to serve him. If you don't know this God who we are serving, it is your chance to come and connect with one person. Come and let, come and know this God that we are serving. Come and find out who he is. Come and give your life to Christ at this point. Come and ask him to help you, to walk in righteousness, to help you pay the price of serving God. Praise the name of the Lord. Come and ask him to heal you. If you have wounds as you served, come and ask him to have his way in your life. If you are serving God and maybe at one point you fell back and you felt like, I cannot go back because I'm not worthy to stand and serve in your presence. Come and have a point and a moment to reconnect with God. Oh Jesus, we thank you. If you're a servant and you fell back, the Lord is saying today, come unto me. Come and I will restore you. The Lord is saying, come and I will make you whole. The Lord is saying, come and I will forgive you. I am a loving father. I am a loving father. I will forgive you. I will forgive you. I will give you the grace. I will give you the time. I will make room for you to serve me. 
Oh Jesus, we thank you. May you use us as vessels of honor in your presence. May you use us as vessels of honor, dear Lord. Bring us back to the heart of worship. As we seek you, may we find where we shall serve you, Lord. May you open our eyes, dear Father, King in glory, that we may get to know where you have placed us and positioned us, that we will get to know where you have called us, that you will get to know where you want us to be as we serve you. We thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy.